Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and today I'm going to be revisiting Dolphin Emulator and redoing a video that I made on June 3rd, 2013. This one right here. Using the option copy EFB to RAM instead of 2 texture. Today I'm going to redo this video and give more information on that. And as you can see, June 3rd, 2013, three years later, I made a new video on Dolphin Emulator. So, uh, first what I need to do is I need to go show you my configurations. So I'm going to click on the Configure button, and this is what I have enabled and disabled and changed in Dolphin Emulator. As you can see, this is these are my settings right here. So if you see anything that I'm using that you want to use for your own uh, Dolphin emulator that on your own personal computer, go ahead and copy my settings if you want. Um, but this is mostly just to let people know what I'm using so that in case there's any anything that could be different potentially between different computers, um, just to explain it so that people know completely what my settings are. And under here these are my settings. And on this page these are my settings for the hacks tab. Under advanced I actually have nothing checked. Um, usually when I download a copy of Dolphin emulator I will turn on show FPS to show the frames per second on the top left corner of the window where it's showing the game. But um, as this video is about EFB to RAM and EFB to texture, I'm going to go into graphics and under hacks. And as you can see, it's I have it set to EFB copies to texture right now. In Dolphin 5.0, uh, they changed how this how the EFB copies settings work, how that setting works and it doesn't work the same it's kind of a hybrid EFB where it's like if you have it uh, EFB copies the RAM it also uses the texture so it's not completely separate so that's why I'm using Dolphin 4.0.2 and I don't remember when they changed it otherwise I would use a, um, a development version but I don't remember when they changed that so I'm just using Dolphin 4.0.2 Over here on the left, you can see that I have um, the task manager open, so you can look at my RAM usage and my CPU usage, so you can see if it goes up or down while I'm playing Dolphin Emulator, using Dolphin Emulator to play emulation emulated games. Over here, I have my uh, recorder, my um, video recorder. I have it down here just so that I can kind of keep an eye on it. Usually I don't keep an eye on um, OBS, but I kind of want to make sure that it stays okay. Now I should probably explain this, actually explain it rather than just show it. If you have EFB copies to texture enabled, then it'll use your graphics card and store all of the um, EFB copies on your graphics card instead of your um, system memory, this memory right here. If you enable EFB to RAM, then it stores your all of the texture, I think they're textures. No, you, it stores EFB copies to this physical memory. What you physically install into your computer's motherboard, it stores all that in if you have RAM enabled, stores it in here. So these are my settings, and I'm going to, I have it on texture. I should probably show you my, um, well, DSP, the audio. I already showed you that tab. But I'm gonna go into the GameCube pad tab, and this is what I have for my GameCube controller set. This is what I have it set at. 
see. It's a real GameCube controller. And today I'm going to be playing Mario Kart Wii instead of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I'm playing Mario Kart Wii because that supports GameCube controllers. And... Um, and it has no story that I have to skip through at the beginning of the game. Plus, I um, don't really want to go find my Bluetooth adapter to use the Wii Remote, and I don't want to use the keyboard. Um, but there is a problem that I've noticed with Dolphin 4.0.2. When I have the EFB copies to RAM enabled on Luigi's Circuit in Mario Kart Wii, I've noticed that it crashes at a certain point, so I'll show you that later. Not right now, but later, when I change it to that. So this is my emulated Wii Remote settings. Um, these are all the settings that I have enabled on the emulated Wii Remote page. If you're downloading Dolphin for yourself, I highly recommend that you grab 5.0 or one of the development versions. It's much better than 4.0.2. But for this video, I'm using it. I'm using 4.0.2 because of the um, because they changed the setting, like I said earlier. So under hacks, I have it EFB copies to texture. So let's jump right into Mario Kart Wii. I'm gonna grab my headphones. I'm gonna jump into Mario Kart Wii. I'm going to try to provide um, live commentary. Sometimes I might not be able to provide live commentary because it's just, as it is, it's already difficult for me to figure out what to talk about while playing a game. But with Mario Kart, I have to focus even more. So sometimes I won't say anything. But I'll usually try to think of something to say. Also, I will be cutting out the lap two and lap three um, of this video of Mario Kart Wii. Um, in this video you won't see lap two and lap three, you'll only see lap one of Luigi's Circuit. But I'm going to be putting the all three laps on my second channel which you can click right here. You can click right here to go to that video. So I'm going to open up Mario Kart Wii and hit A gonna move my mouse hit A again I've turned the volume down a lot so that it's much quieter for people and so that Nintendo doesn't freak out about copyright stuff so I'm gonna go down two verses solo Luigi and then mock bike that's the best combination personally for me Oh, it's 100cc versus, I guess. I didn't notice that. Oh, yeah, I guess I had it at 100cc in the settings. Rules. So we've got the countdown. 3, 2, 1. And I got it. Okay, good. I haven't played it for... Played Mario Kart Wii for a few hours. So, um, I'm a little bit out of practice, but I'm going to try. But I also have other... Um, gameplay of Mario Kart Wii that I've recorded earlier today and uh, I got rid of that uh, whoops I got rid of that um, red shell behind me and then I placed a fake item block box right there so I'm gonna be cutting this right here and you can see it on my second channel you're probably watching on my main channel now well yeah I've cut back to the video. Um, make sure you go watch it. Go watch the video on my second channel. The link is also in the description if you miss, if you don't have uh, annotations. So I'm going to go back under graphics, hacks, enable RAM, EFB to RAM. If you enable uh, cache, then it should make it quicker. But um, I'm going to, actually I'm going to disable that. So I'm going to close this and open up Mario Kart Wii again. And go back in. Player. Single player. 
the audio is still a little delayed versus as you can see it's much slower sometimes it's much slower than the EFB detection I turned off um, cache so that it's obviously slower now if I just um, played um, I had to turn off cache or else it would be much um, faster but if you have EFB to texture on then it will um, look better than it can uh, make textures look a lot better than um, EFB to RAM now um, if you can hear my GameCube controller um, over the microphone that's because um, my microphone that I have I don't really have it um, or it's a I don't really remember what type of microphone it is but um, it's not one of those directional ones oh I got Mario I was trying to hit Mario um, as you can probably tell the audio sounds really awful right here I think direct there we go is it um, locked up that's what I was talking about with the hang oh dolphin is going to crash I guess usually just this crashes not the entire dolphin program so dolphins crash but I have a shortcut to open dolphin I thought I saw a window right there. I'll I'll look at it in post. So I'm gonna go back into Mario Kart Wii. Actually, no, I'm I can close it. But um, the reason why you want to use copy ef why you would want to use copy efb to RAM over to texture is because in Mar New Super Mario Bros. Wii, the coins will not spin under efb to texture. They'll just kind of sit there. Uh, just pretty awful. Actually, I'll mm, yeah, I'll go show you. I'll have to get there first, though. I have my mouse set at, as the A button, and the arrow keys are my left, up, down, and right. And as you can see right there, the blocks don't spin around and the coins don't spin around but those coins do spin so yeah there's uh the coins do spin if you get them out of a block but uh, these blocks also do not have any effects on them the fl this flag waves right there but other than that, not many other coins make do much. Um, hmm, I can't really do that. I'm not really sure what button I have to set that to. Hmm. Um, anyway, as you can see, that star coin up there does spin, but it's not a regular coin. So because of that, it's not one of these coins. So I'm going to show you what happens when it's when EFB to RAM or to RAM yeah RAM is enabled in that game. So I'll get back to that spot and then show you. See as you can see now the coins spin they don't look great but they look better they spin like they should and now these blocks right here are spinning around or they're doing that animation thing and then these question mark blocks right here are spinning like they should Oop. and and it is much slower than EFB to texture so I, I 
uh, recommend EFB to texture over to RAM if you don't have enough processing power for it. Now I have uh, texture cache accuracy set in the middle between safe and fast. Um, but um, you can use EFB to texture. Um, it's generally much faster than EFB to RAM and it works much faster usually or it usually works much faster than EFB to RAM and um, but it's not as accurate but EFB to RAM uh, some games as you can see down below in the description uh, some games need EFB to RAM Uh, but if you do uh, EFB uh, disable, I'm actually going to do disable EFB copies and go into Mario Kart Wii and see what happens. It should be a lot faster. I don't know if it's going to be faster or not. In the character select screen, that relies on EFB copies for the preview on the left and the bikes do too. So I'm going to go turn that back on. So I hope this video explains it much better than the previous one. Uh, EFB copies to RAM is very useful in um, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Um, if you were playing it before version 5.0 or whenever they changed over to the hybrid EFB. Uh, the map would not show up on EFB copies to texture. It would be just a garbled mess. Apparently some people deleted their comments on my video. Um, I was going to go back and read their comments because they basically said that it does help for uh, Twilight Princess. I can't remember. There was something that somebody else said, I think. I'm not really sure. That basically saying that EFB copies do work, or no, uh, EFB to RAM does work, and it is very useful if you have problems like in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, use it if you want spinning coins, but if you're on Dolphin 5.0 or higher, I'm going to go into Dolphin 5.0. In Dolphin 5.0, the EF, copy EFB to RAM option or the um, EFB to RAM or to texture or don't copy has been replaced by a checkbox saying store EFB copies to texture only. Um, if this is enabled then it does EFB copies to texture but if it's disabled it will do it both to RAM and to the texture. So it's not true EFB just to RAM or EFB, well, when it's enabled it's true EFB just to texture, based on the description below. But when it's unchecked, it's not true EFB to RAM like it used to be in older versions of Dolphin Emulator. It now uses EFB to RAM and to texture, it, that's why I call it a hybrid of both of them. It does increase the speed and it um, allows you to have the spinning coins in New Super Mario Bros. Wii but it's mm, it's not as exact as I would ha it's not as exact as I would like um, to dis as for a way for me to describe EFB to RAM versus to texture, it's not separate enough for that purpose. So that's why I used Dolphin 4.0.2 instead, simply to um, ha make it easier for me to explain that to viewers. But other than that, in Dolphin 5.0, these are my options that I have enabled. They're a little bit different than 4.0.2 though. So, um, yeah. 
these are what I have in the graphics configuration and in regular dolphin configuration here are my settings I have X audio 2 as my audio backend for dolphin 5.0 because there's no D sound and that was dropped with a development version before 5.0 was released there was a development version of it and they dropped D sound D sound is what it's called I'm going to assume that that means direct sound. The reason for them dropping it is because Dolphin doesn't support Windows XP anymore. So why have an audio backend that supports Windows XP? That was the only purpose of D sound. And X Audio 2 is actually much better than D sound. It does everything D sound can do and it's much better apparently. And I I did play Mario Kart Wii and it does sound better to me. Um, here are my other options I have. And then under controllers, these are my options. So those are my options. All right, let's uh, jump into Mario Kart Wii and show how it's a little bit, how it's j actually, no, new Super Mario Bros. Let's jump into there and show how the EFB to RAM versus two texture, or no, the EFB, the hybrid EFB copies, as I like to call them, work. So we're gonna turn that off so it's RAM and texture. All right, let's go in. I'm going to get to that part where I need to be. As you can see, the um, it's a bit slower than um, EFB just to texture, but as you can see, the coins are spinning. They look like they should pretty much. They're just a little bit pixelated right there, kind of when they're dark right there. It's a little bit pixelated. I can see these blocks spin around. These blocks have an animation, and oops, I misjudged the jump. So yeah, that's that way. It's because it's hybrid. You can use both of them at one time. Oh, and with EFB to texture, apparently in Dolphin 5.0, now this now the blocks spin around, so there's not really a point to using um, EFB to RAM and over to texture in Dolphin 5.0 anymore. And it's just, oops, yep, it's quick, 60 frames per second with um, EFB to texture. Now I'm going to play Mario Kart Wii. Let's see how this does. I might split these videos into t this video into two parts, depending on how long it turns out to be. There's a lot of stuff that I'm going to um, not have in the final video due to um, just, I mean, well, there's, a, there's some parts that I'm, some stuff that I'm cutting out just because I don't need it in the final part. It doesn't add anything and it doesn't take anything away from the video. And then these um, races are going to be on their own video on my second channel too, so that will make up for time. So we've got Luigi's Circuit. I'm gonna skip that intro. Apparently, if you let that play, on the um, on the on the battle stages, it would actually crash the game after like a few seconds or something. But because nobody um, 
nobody uh, ever watched those intros. They always skipped them. Nobody, uh, the Dolphin developers didn't know it was broken. And then they fixed it. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's not good. All right, I think that's enough. I think that is enough. Goodbye.